Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix Roblox game client is not responding. So, begin. so if you are encountering issues like this one right here, as I have shown you in this image, then I have the solution for you. So let's get on it right away. So the first thing that we want to do is you want to make sure that you have logged out on Roblox first. So you want to go into your browser and roblox.com right here. You want to go here and from here you want to log out your account first. So let's go click on the gear icon right here and click on log out. And there will be just like this one and just go and log it out. And as you can see now that it's lagged out, now we can now exit and proceed to the next step, which is going into our device manager. So go here into your start menu and type device manager, or you can just also search it in a search box. And there it is, the device manager right here. You want to click on it. And from here, you would see a lot of um, uh, specs here in your computer, some parts. So you want to go for your display adapters right here and you want to expand it and you would see your display adapters right here so if you have more than one then I suggest that you update all of them but in my case you only have one so all I need to do is update this one so right click on it and click on update driver and from here you want to search automatically for drivers right here so click on it and as you can see in my case I have the best drivers already installed in my you see, but if in your case it has an update available, then I suggest you update it by following the on-screen instructions. So now let's go and close this because we are done with this tab. And the next thing is that I want you to find your Roblox player. It's usually just in your desktop right here. In my case, it's right here. So let me just drag it so we can see it better. But if you can see it here in your desktop, then you can also just go for your or your search bar right here in your taskbar or you could just go to your start menu and type roblox and you would see the roblox player right here and you can just go right click it and go click on open file location and after this you can just go and right click it right here right click on roblox player application and go into properties right here and from here you want to go into compatibility and from here you want to make sure that your compatibility mode to run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 and this box is ticked right here and the next thing is you want to disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator now that we've done this all we have to do now is go click on apply and then we want to run the compatibility troubleshooter in case that it would detect our problem so this is a quite very important step and from here we're just gonna go for try recommended settings and you want to test the program right here click on it and it would open up roblox right here and as you can see it's now opening but if in your case it's still not opening or the problem is still persisting then we can i can suggest that you can just go for let's just close this first right here then i suggest that you can go for the next step which is the clean manager so we're gonna go and exit now and from here we were gonna go into run and your start menu type run and you would run the run app right here so click on it and you would have this right here and from here you want to go into clean manager so it's clean mgr just like that and you want to go and click ok and from here you have to select the drive that you have your roblox installed on and in my case it will be in this one so i'm gonna go click on ok and from here you want to go into my uh, just select everything right here and what this does is just it clears up uh, the cache files that we have in our computer and as you can see mine is very very big i have 18 gigs and 4 gigs right here so it will take a while so when I click on OK and delete all files right here it will take a while for this one right here but I also suggest that you use your this clean manager in all your drives or I mean all your disks so that you could ensure that you have done everything and the next thing is that after this has finished right here I want you to restart your computer first so now that you have restarted your computer, now we can proceed to the last step. 
So the last step would be going here into your start menu again and going for run right here. And you could accomplish the same thing by pressing the Windows button and R button on your keyboard and it will just open the run app. And from here, we want to go and open up data right here. Just type on Updata and click on OK. And from here, we would have three folders, but what we want is local right here. And from here, we want to go search for the Roblox folder right here. And here it is in my case, so I'm going to open it. And from here, you want to go and delete your settings right here where it says settings. So in my case, it says global basic settings right here. So you want to delete it, delete, right click and delete. And from here, you want to go into logs again after you have deleted that and delete everything right here and delete and voila that's it and after you have done all this step then you can test if the problem has been resolved because it will be most likely resolved and that's it for this video thank you for watching if this video helped you out don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so that you won't miss our future updates thank you for watching